Hey guys, real quick before I get into this video, just want to give out a reminder. Make sure if you like my content, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button, notification bell, and the like button. And also make sure you're leaving a comment down below because that will make you eligible for when I hit 5,000 subs, I will be giving away a brand new pair of Magbull shooting glasses. And remember, prep, train, survive. Hey guys, welcome back. So the other day I was at my local Walmart and just kind of looking around while my wife was doing some grocery shopping. Went over to the sporting goods slash camping area where they have their survival gear. I was actually going to do, try and do a video about doing like a $50 Walmart uh, survival kit or bag. You know, I, a lot of people have done those, but I kind of want to do one for fun. And <laughs> I couldn't even find enough stuff to do it. I probably still could have, but I was trying to mainly go by with just what survival gear they had there not trying to go around the entire store but just to kind of see what you could get but they were so thin on everything that i just kind of scrapped it uh, but i did come across these uh, ration bars and i haven't actually tried these before i do have a, a different type i think it's like the sos brand in a container in my truck i heard they're not most of these things are not the best tasting but they'll work in a pinch and these ones were actually just under, they're like $4.97 a piece. So they're on the cheaper side. And they're made by UST or Ultimate Survival Technologies. They make a lot of kind of cheaper, probably, I, I don't have any experience with any of their their survival gear, but I'm just kind of assuming it's gonna be more on the beginner level, uh, injury level type, type gear. So again, I haven't used any of their gear, so I can't really say for sure, but it does tend to run kind of in the cheaper side of things so if you're maybe a beginner probably more aimed towards that uh that demographic but they had a few left they had about five left i probably actually should have got the rest of them since they're only like five bucks and because i went on amazon to see how much they were there and they're about the same price but they only have like one left but i was going to put a link in the description to them after i do the review on it but they only had like i said the singles they only had one left and then they had a four pack but it was like $35. So you're paying $15 more to get a four pat. I mean, it was just, so we all know how survival food goes right now. It's kind of up and down and depending on the demand. So prices can kind of go up and down. But I wanted, I went ahead and picked two of them up. So I want to see what the deal is. One thing to note though, on if you're going to put one of these in your bag, bug out bag, something you're gonna be carrying, keep in mind they are very dense. So that makes them pretty heavy. These run about a pound, just over a pound each. So it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're trying to eliminate as much weight as you can in your bug out bag or go bag or get home bag, whatever you want to call it, keep in mind they are pretty fairly heavy for their size. And that's why I don't have one in mind. I have some stuff that's a little bit lighter. And again, food is not always going to be the biggest thing that you want to put in your go bag or bug out bag because you can survive a lot longer without food. Now, that being said, I'm not saying don't put food in your bug out bag. That's not what I'm saying at all. But it should be try and get the most lightweight you can and space efficiency that you can. It'll just make your life a lot easier. So that's why I don't. I have a couple of these, but I don't have them in my actual bug out bag. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and open one here. I'll open the smaller one. And I'll grab my pocket knife here. Did do a review on this knife a long time ago, so check that out. It's a great knife. I love it. Actually, it doesn't smell bad. Okay, so it just comes as one solid piece, and they have kind of like grooves as far as where you can kind of break it up into one piece. So one sec here. I'm actually going to probably need to go to the kitchen and actually cut one of these off with a knife. All right, so this is actually going to be the serving size. Serving size. Pretty thick extremely dense it doesn't smell bad it kind of smells like apple cinnamon uh, you know oatmeal or something like that extremely crumbly for sure you're gonna make sure you're gonna want some water and <laughs> they're pretty dry so I mean the flavor is not bad <laughs> they're messy 
<laughs> it's falling apart all over the place. I'm making a huge mess. Are they great? No. <laughs> Will they work in a pinch? I'm sure they would. Like I said, it's not the worst flavor. It's a little on the bland side. I mean, you can taste the apple and cinnamon. But again, it's very dense. And obviously they make a mess, but if you're out in the wilderness, it doesn't really matter. You're not trying to be worried about making a mess when you're eating something. But definitely, I can definitely see where one block will probably last you a little while because against of how dense they are, you know, it's really packed tight. Yeah, I mean, after about the third bite, it's kind of like, yeah. Um, like I said, it wouldn't be something bad to have. I'll wash that down a little bit. <laughs> like I said, they're pretty dry. You know, obviously when you're buying something like this, it's not probably going to be super moist. They want it packed hard, tight, no moisture. So to make it last longer, I'm assuming is why they do that. Now, again, definitely will work in a pinch. You know, each bar, you know, block is 400 calories. So that's a decent amount. So you could definitely probably ration one of these for a couple days if you really had to or even more. I mean, it just kind of depends on your situation. If you have anything else that you're, if this is all you have, I would definitely recommend trying to ration it out as much as you can because you never know where you're going to get your food, especially if you're bugging out, depending on your situation or you're stranded somewhere. So uh, I'll go ahead and put a description, uh, link in the description. I'll go ahead and link it to the Walmart one because I did check their website. That's actually where I first saw them before I left. And it just so happened I came across them when, when I went to the store, they actually had some. So I will put a link in there if you want to try one out. And I may go ahead, depending on how many views and likes I get on this video, I may just send this one out to one of you guys. So make sure you leave a comment down there and I may send one of these out so you guys can try it for yourself. I might pick up another one. I mean, I'm not real huge on the ration bars. Uh, I, I definitely think they have their place five-year shelf life one of them actually has about five the other ones is a little bit shorter depending on when you know when they come out how long they're on the shelf obviously you're you're not always going to get that exact number but i do think if you store it properly you'll probably get a little bit longer out of that i'm not saying do that because i don't want to suggest something that you know like i said expiration date is an expiration date so keep that in mind it's not a best buy two different separate things Anyways, I don't want to take this, make this video too long. Just want to give you an idea. I wanted to try one. I haven't tried one before. Again, not bad. I was expecting worse. It is very, and it's not too hard to cut. At first, when you're trying to cut it, it seems like it's, but it tends to kind of just kind of break off once you get into it. So you don't have to have a super sharp knife to cut through it. They just kind of break apart once you get your knife in there. And, or you could probably just take it with your hand and, and break it apart if you wanted to. I don't want to do that because I already made a huge mess as it is. So, uh, anyways, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up up there. I'll put the link in the description for that. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, guys. Uh, this has been a lot of fun, and I'll give one of those away depending on how many comments. I might just pick someone random. We'll see. I like the numbers to get up there a little bit more. Just to you know, you guys got to work for it a little bit. I'm not gonna just gonna you know give it give stuff away too easy. You know. So, anyways. Thank you guys. Appreciate your support. Continue to support all you new subscribers. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching.